Okay, and to find a ROM, we're going to go into the browser. We're going to put XDA in our Google search. Okay, once we're there, you're going to go to the XDA developers, and automatically, um, you want to go into the part where it says forum. So once you're inside the forum, you're going to want to put your model number here of the, your device. So for instance, I have the i717, if you have the T889 or any other version, then you put the version you have. So I have the i717 and we're going to put it here it is, it located it. And this will take you to a forum directly only about your, uh, about your device. So here you have accessories, questions, and you want to go into Android development and they have here original and Android. I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing the original was based on original software. Um, but here, I think in the original is where we want to look for. I'm going to install one called um, Liquid Smooth RC8, which is the the most stable version right now for this phone uh, in Jelly Bean. Okay, so you should read all the stuff it says. It's going to tell you what each one has, hashtag and all that kind of stuff. Like uh, here it says fixed LTE, fixed navigation bar, you know, like uh, there's a lot of things that they fix and a lot of things that are still missing. That way you know a little bit about the ROM and what it's composed about. Also it'll tell you what enhancements it has and, and what so not. Some people even hide the uh, the download because it's it's uh, they really want you to check everything out before you download it and start asking so many questions. It's download. It wasn't that that hidden so we hit download and now we have options I'm going to download the ATT since this is the AT&T phone and it's downloading so you should be able to swipe down and look at your download progress I'll be back as soon as it's done after you download the files make sure um, I put them in this uh, this is my external folder and I have a folder for downloads, MP3s, pictures. I, you know, I created these folders. You could create these folders and organize your external list and try to download it into the external so you don't lose any information. So um, hold on, let me go back into that. Let's go into file manager. And so normally it would download here, but if it if it downloads there, what you what you're gonna do is, for instance, let, let's say I want to grab the screenshot, you're just gonna cut, and then you're gonna paste it into your external. So you just gotta look for the external. Once you're in your external SD, you can just come and paste it here if you want. For instance, um, I don't really need that, so I'm not gonna p be pasting it for the moment. And after you paste your uh, ROMs onto your external SD, use Opera, which you could automatically tell it to download everything to your external SD or any other browser that allows you to do that. And then you're going to turn off your system, power it off, system will shut down. And this is so you can get into Clockwork Mod. After you rooted it, you should be able to go into Clockwork Mod. So you shut it down. Okay, once your system is shut down, you're going to turn it on. When it vibrates, you hold the two volume up and volume down buttons and you go into Clockwork Recovery. Okay, now uh, you're going to want to wipe everything. But before we, we're going to wipe this first. We're going to wipe out data and factory reset. Yes. Then we're going to wipe out partition. Then we're going to go into advanced and wipe out the Delvet cache. After we have done that, we are going to restart the system. Take out the back cover and take out the SD so you don't delete it anything because we're going to continue to delete it leave the back cover off for now turn it back on hold the uh, volume up and volume down and 
and then we're going to go into mountain storage and we're going to format data yes format system yes format cache yes format emmc yes format sd yes okay then we're gonna go back once we are back you want to reboot the system okay so after you reboot it sorry for the mount it's just so we don't get any glare so after you reboot it we're gonna go into install zip from SD and once and then you choose choose zip from SD and then you go to the folder where you have it and we are going to install first we are going to install the ROM which is the Quincy AT&T and it'll tell you the whole process as it's going some of them actually reboot by themselves hopefully this one doesn't do that so we can install uh, G apps after you install G apps the next process would be for you to um, restart your phone and do the add-ons and wallpaper afterwards but I don't have the luxury of time today so we're just going to do it ourselves we're gonna go to SD choose SD from zip we're gonna do the G apps next install so you can install both G app and uh, ROM at the same time it, there's no problem with that um, but some of them for the add-ons or for to revert icons to do other stuff they tell you to um, let your system sit for 10 minutes and then add those on but we're gonna just go straight to it today add-on and then we are going to move it into wallpapers so these are the add-ons that you could add so that you could have the full version of liquid jelly bean okay now that you're done you go back and I would wipe data this is what I like to do a lot of people say it avoids a lot of problems and you haven't actually installed any data so there should be no problem for you wiping the data out um, and then wiping cache again going through the same process you did when you were going to install it go to advance then wipe out Delvic and then fix permissions then go back and reboot your system for the first time and everything should be working okay like I said my recommendation is after you install the ROM restart wait 10 minutes play around with it for 10 minutes and then install the other add-ons don't uh, do it the way I did it um, I'm doing it fast right now for the video but uh, and you go through the other processes and then you just restart and yes you should wipe and wipe everything out wipe data and double cache um, and regular cache before you restart and fix permissions that those things just avoid problems um, the other part that we did in the first part where we deleted uh, we formatted data and system and all that that's only done right before ROM so there's no need so that's the new liquid jelly bean um, boot up screen I used to like the old one it was kinda nice how it was just flur like that I don't know I don't know if you remember it this the this ROM to me was even more stable than um, Cyanogen Mod. Maybe because Cyanogen Mod is always on the latest and trying to get the, the best. Um, I think Liquid Smooth was always about trying to make it faster and stable. So once I boot up it asks me if I have a Google account. I skipped it and now we're gonna go to Not Now. We're gonna take uh, all these off. for now I mean you should keep them on and fill everything out I just want to get into the ROM and show you guys what it's like so finish okay so there it is liquid uh, 
jelly bean. It's very, very fast. It's amazingly fast. I mean, this ROM is probably the fastest one. It'll make it feel like it was a Note 2. You don't see anything right now because it's very slim. They don't have anything installed. You have to, you know, go in, in the widgets and add your own widgets the way you want it. Um, but the ROM is just amazingly fast. Okay, so that's the tutorial on how to install it. After that, we're going to have one on how to restore it, put Cyanogen Mod back on. So, okay, this is Liquid Jelly Bean. It's already installed, and as you can see, it's super fast. I mean, for this phone, it makes it feel like it was a Note 2. So, if you're missing out on the Note 2, you're really not missing a lot here. Um, you got a... a you got a lot of different options, the splash screen, the theme chooser, so you could choose themes. Um, I believe you could overclock on this one. All you need to do is install, like, set CPU. And we're going to go to about phone to show you a little bit about it. So we're going to click three times uh, Android 4.1.2. One, two, three. It's just got to do it really fast. And then you hold down on the jelly bean, and these will fly away. Okay, so... This is uh, Liquid Jelly Bean. I hope you liked uh, the installation. It could be a general installation for almost any uh, ROM on any phone. Um, just the way you uh, root and the way you install Clockwork Mod is different on each phone. Uh, but uh, from apart from that, installing a ROM is pretty much the same on every phone. So I'm glad uh, you watched this video. We are done with this and hope to see you on ROMs tricks and tips my next video will show you how to download free apps and free music so please subscribe and like to help people find this video thank you